everybody welcome back to the channel here we are with another video and this one is gonna be a big one um, as you can see currently I am in the car we are in route to San Antonio top-notch wheels um, and they will be installing my airlift suspension 3p airbag system um, very excited about it guys uh, definitely it's gonna be a game changer for the car for the channel so Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little uh, trip, that, trip that we're going to be on. Alright guys, dropping her off. Here you go. As you can see by the intro, um, I did it. We bagged the, uh, the RT. So now I do have the, sh uh, actually the shocks are on back order right now, unfortunately. So those are coming in. So if you can notice the back is a little bit higher than the front, not to worry that hopefully they should be here. I mean, I was still probably in a couple weeks. So when those come in, we're going to be throwing those in the back though, but do a little walk around to kind of show you what the car, the car looks like, how it stands. out check it out really low too so right where i like it um again the rear is just a little bit higher than the front not too worry when those parts come in we'll throw the shocks in the back and it should sit uh, nice and even but here's a cool little side profile for you guys check it out so um you know i think i did a pretty good job of cutting there obviously i did have to cut so there is you know some room in here there's probably a good inch from the flare so you know, for me, it doesn't bother me a whole lot, but I may just go ahead and either maybe throw like a five millimeter spacer or something, just kind of bring the wheel out a little bit more. But honestly, it just doesn't bother me all that much. So I may just leave it as is. But yeah, so obviously I mean, we did a cutting. So I'll show you a couple clips of um, me modifying the fenders. So, you know, I didn't want to cut the fenders, but obviously once you go wide body, you kind of have no choice uh, just because of obviously with the, you know, the wider wheels, negative offset, you kind of have no choice but to go ahead and do the cutting though. So I'll show you a couple cli uh, clips of that. Um, and then here are some clips of um, the team over there at Top Notch Wheels and more in San Antonio. They're the ones that kind of do the job. So shout out to them. Moses, you guys took care of me. You guys did a really good job in the car. So if you guys need any kind of suspension work, wheels, all that kind of good stuff, uh, they did a phenomenal job on my car. You know, it took them about three days. I, obviously, this air, airlift suspension stuff is pretty bolt-on, so there's nothing really crazy to it. But, you know me, I like to do everything myself, but I figured I'd leave this one to the professional. So, again, overall, this is how the car stands. Again, check it out. Tell me what you guys think. Really low. Like, there's really... If you look here there's 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 not much room i mean seriously like it's it's there maybe i've got maybe a couple inches of room but besides that i mean it's it's pretty low to the ground i mean if you look at the front fender i mean it's tucking right it's pretty it's pretty low so go ahead check that out all right let me go ahead and show you the uh the trunk setup all right, this is my trunk setup. Again, something simple. I, I told them just nothing to do with anything crazy. I will probably do something custom down the road, but I went with the double um, 444C wire compressors with the obviously airlift management um, manifold. And then I went with the five gallon tank. So, you know me, I'll probably, I already have kind of some, some things in mind as far as customizing the tank, the compressors, so on and so forth. So. 
again I didn't want to do anything kind of crazy with it just something simple do the job um, and then sort of down the line I'll do some research and then we can really kind of touch up this uh, management system in the back though so I mean I did have the option of putting it underneath uh, the car but you know I figured might as well just kind of show it off a little bit and and customize it so um, so stay tuned for that I'll probably make another video of me sort of customizing the tank the compressors probably bringing the manifold up a little bit angling it and you know customizing customizing that as well so all right guys and here is my controller again 3p and then I did wind up getting um, I believe it's called the pro clip mounting kit so it mounts really well and going nowhere you can kind of angle it all that kind of good stuff so I'll leave a link down below but yep, yeah, that is the, again, simple setup on the um, controller. Now, one of my favorite parts about this kit here is obviously its Bluetooth capabilities. Now, the car has to be either in the accessory or run position for it to work, so it does have to have some power. But very simple, you're going to take your controller, and then again, if you want to go just to my regular ride height, there you go, pops, there you go, and it sets so it's pretty cool again i've got five different presets you can customize them to whatever you want you know this is basically for the most part this is what i use with for my ride height and then again you know once you are ready to park just kind of drop the bags on them there you go so again very cool i think with the bluetooth it's it's cool you know you could put it in show mode there's so many options with this with the system guys i can't even tell you so uh, you know that's probably a whole separate video as far as the different options that it comes with what you can do um you know you could set it to, to turn on the car and then the car raises you know um put in a show mode where you can control this you know tons of options i mean i can't even tell you so it's really customizable to whatever you want so depending on what kind of car you have your ride height what you want to do with it i mean there's so many options with the system it's really really nice honestly so i know there isn't too much um, competition out there so these guys are really killing the game um probably one big reason why they're on back orders because a lot of people are jumping on the bad bandwagon with these guys so but overall the system is really nice a bit pricey um but you know you, you get what you pay for with this system so you know depending on the shop and and you know who does it so on and so forth they could run you four or five grand just depending you know depending on who does it so but for me i was totally happy with it um super super excited with my purchase again shout out to moses and the guys at top notch wheels over there in san antonio really did a, a great job with this you know i'll be coming back to them once the rear shocks come in and then really you know take some good pictures of the car and you know sitting have it sitting right though so future plans i may throw in some 305s in the front just to kind of match them you know go 305 all the way around but that's it guys any other uh, questions concerns you know leave a comment down below appreciate you guys for watching don't forget to comment and like and we will see you on the next one